dialogue has two express purposes. Dialogue is used for humor and impact. That's what it's used for, humor and impact. Quick homework assignment. Go on Netflix, pull up any stand-up comedian you want, watch them, but don't just watch to laugh at them. Watch when they get a laugh, stop, pause it, step back, rewind it for a second, ask the question, what are they doing? I promise you they were using dialogue. In, in comedy, they call it an act out. They usually use dialogue with bigger exaggeration. So you'll learn that. It's a skill. You can study it. Where you're telling stories more often, it's going to be with impact. I want you to think about this for just a second. A few minutes ago, you got to hear Stephen Covey, one of the greatest thinkers of our time who happens to be dead. You got to hear Stephen Covey share some of the greatest advice you, ever, you might ever hear in your life. And the reason you did is simply because I chose to use dialogue in my story. The impact of that is so different than if I would have just retold the story. So when you're talking about a story of a change that happened in a mentor who said something to you, let him say it. When you're talking about the person who first introduced you to this business, let him say it. When you're talking about the impact that a product has had on somebody and what they shared with you, let them say it as part of your story. Because dialogue gives them a voice and it gives your story a dynamic appeal.